All right, so I got a nice short video for you guys today, but an important one to say the least. One of the most common comments I get about my presets is being able to use them live and hear yourself with all of the effects on the preset. And one of the issues a lot of people run into is there being latency on the vocal and just not letting them record live because there's so much latency, it just ends up sounding terrible. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys everything you can do to reduce that latency as much as possible. With step one being, make sure you have an interface. Now, an interface is just going to be something like a focus right to i2 or anything that lets you connect to your microphone to your computer without using a USB. Now, me personally, the setup I'm running is a Shure SM7B into a Focusrite 2 i2, and that's just what has been working great for me. And then we're gonna jump into FL Studio and I'll show you guys what the routing looks like. So if we go to Options, Audio Settings, you can see that I'm using the Focusrite USB ASIO, and that allows me to get my buffer length down to 64, which basically is two milliseconds, which is basically means there's no latency at all. Now, if your CPU can't handle it, you can always just change your buffer size. 28 is still only three milliseconds, and I mean, even if you were to double 56, I only got six milliseconds. It's 64 because I am able to do that, and it just sounds best to me. Now, let me show you a couple methods you can use if you are using a preset and the latency is too high because of all the plugins. All right, so I'm just looking for a quick little beat, uh, maybe just some indie stuff. So this beat sounds pretty cool. I'm just going to grab this, bring it into FL, and I'll show you guys how we can do the zero latency method. All right, so I loaded this beat up. We have it routed over here. I'm just going to rename it to beat so we could better understand what's going on here. And what we're going to do now is just create a recording track. So I'm going to set up a preset on this track right here. All right, so I loaded up my default preset and you can see it's on three and four. But what we're going to do is copy over the auto tune. So first I'm going to change it to B major because that is the key of the song. And then I'm just going to right click this down here, save preset as and drag it over here. And then we're also going to grab this R compressor. Drag it over here. And then I'm going to click F2 on my keyboard and name this REC for record. And we're just going to make it red. And then I'm going to right click and click A or click assign new audio tracks. And that's just going to route it over to this playlist mixer. And I'm also going to bring this EQ over to the recording track. And then on our preset track, I'm also going to cl right click and click A. So now we have a recording track with only three plugins on it that won't eat your CPU too much. And it'll allow you to understand where your vocal is going. And all you're going to have to do is record here and then drag it down. So let me show you how we would actually do this. So we're going to enable this. So I'm also going to add a reverb on here. Just so we have, you know, a little bit of effect. Just something, just something to use, you know, turn the wet down a little. Yeah. Yeah, I came in with a double cup. Just a solo shoddy that I don't really give a fuck. I could pull up in a just to show you up If you really wanna stay, you better loosen up Yeah, yeah Let's go back to the basics I don't wanna fight, I just wanna love you I came in with a lot, but I left with a little You brought me to the ground, I'ma never recover Alright, so I just recorded on the recording track So all we gotta do now is just drag these down And we're just gonna adjust the preset to make it sound how we want Yeah, I came in with a double cup Just a solo shoddy that I don't really give a fuck I could pull up in a band just to show you up If you really wanna stay, you better loosen up Yeah, let's go back to the basics I don't wanna fight, I just wanna love you I came in with a lot, but I left with a little Yeah, I came in with a double cup Just a solo shoddy that I don't really give a fuck I could pull up in a band just to show you up If you really wanna stay, you better loosen up Yeah, let's go back to the basics I don't wanna fight, I just wanna love you All right, yeah, so I'm actually liking how this sounds pretty much right off the bat in this preset. But what I'm going to do is create an automation clip on the reverb. So this is another cool trick if you just want to add some layers to your vocal. And then what I'm going to do here is right at the end of this bar, we're just going to bring the reverb up a bit. Yeah, let's go back to the basics. I don't want to fight, I just want to love you. I came in with a lot, but I left with a little. You brought me to the ground, I'm going to never recover. Boom, there we go. So that is an easy way for you to record with no latency because this recording track won't have any latency on it. Another very important step is while you're recording, make sure your input is set to wherever your mic is. That should be obvious. And then if you want to hear yourself, you're going to go down to this monitor external input and click when armed. When armed basically means as soon as you click the record button, you can hear yourself. So, so now, now I can hear, hear myself. myself. Now I can't. And then also make sure you have to have it on external input only. If you have it on any of these other settings, it might actually record the auto tune and the reverb. And then you'll be sending the auto-tune and reverb and compressed vocal into more compression and more effects. 
and that's just not what we want. So I'm going to record one more time, just like uh, over here, just to show you guys how quick this workflow is. But let me turn my mic back on on the record track. And you could also record ad libs on this track too, kind of just record over it. And then uh, let me bring the ad lib track in here. But I'll just record some ad libs. It's probably going to sound terrible while recording over this. But as soon as we drag them down to the ad lib track, it'll sound way better. Alright, so that's pretty much it as far as the tip goes. I'm gonna let you guys listen to this. I hope that helped with latency and using the presets. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you hit that like button, but I'm gonna let you guys listen to that and then we're outie. Yeah, I came in with a double cup Just to show the shawty that I don't really give a fuck I could pull up in a band just to show you up If you really wanna stay, you better loosen up Yeah Let's go back to the basics I don't wanna